Hello, Divination Ad. Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to style Divi's comments module inside a blog post template. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So for this tutorial, we are going to need some images. So I've already gone ahead and uploaded these three images. These images can be found in the link which I'll add in the description below. And this is where you can just download the free to use. And um, also it comes with a template, which if you don't want to go through the whole design, you can just use the template as it is. Okay, so let's get started and let's start building this. So the first thing we need to do is to come over here to Divi and click on Theme Builder. Next, you wanna click on uh, Add New Template. So the template that we're going to build is for all posts. So I'm gonna come over here and select all posts create template. Next, we're going to add custom body. So I'm going to click on here and we are going to build this from scratch. So now we have these three options. Let's choose build from scratch. So the first thing we need to do here is to add a new section. So I'm going to click on this plus button and this is going to be a regular section. So we are going to add a gradient to our background. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon, click on background, click on the second tab, and then we're going to add our first color. So our first color here is going to be semi-transparent. So I'm going to click on it and drag this slider down a little bit. And then I'm going to paste my values here between the brackets. So as I mentioned before, you can use this, the exact same values as I'm using throughout this tutorial, because I'll leave the link to that in the video description below. Now let's add our second color and I'm just going to paste it in here. This is going to be white. And then we are going to need to place the gradient above the image. So I'm gonna come all the way down here and place gradient above image. Now let's head over to the image tab. So over here, we need to add our patterns for image one. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and um, this one here is our pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload an image. Now, while we're here, you can also add the patterns for the phone. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna add the second pattern here, pattern two, upload image. So this pattern two will only show on the phone and pattern one and uh, will show on the desktop and the tablet. All right, so back over here on the, uh, on the desktop. So pretty much we're done here. I'm gonna save this and then we're gonna go and add our columns. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and the column structure we're going to need is this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. Now, before we start adding any, any modules in, let's go into our row settings. So first thing, we're gonna click on design sizing. We're gonna um, activate use custom gutter width and we're gonna set this to two. And by the way, the custom gutter width is the space between the columns. So we're gonna set this to two. Next, we're gonna come over here to the width and uh, here it's fine at 80%, but on the maximum width, we're gonna set this to 100%. So that means that it's gonna go all the way to the edges. Right, so now it's time to go to column two, because we need to make some adjustments to column two. So I'm gonna click here on uh, content and click on this gear icon for column two. So what I need to do here is I need to style this by adding a border. So I'm gonna click here on design border. And uh, our border here is going to be on the top only. So I'm gonna click here on top. And then I'm going to add my width and set this to three pixels. And the color here is going to be black. So now we're going to add a text module to column one. So I'm going to save here and save one more time. Now I'm gonna add my text module. I'm gonna start by searching for it and selecting it. So here we just need to add text which says, let's start talking. So we're going to set this to heading three. So I'm gonna click on this drop down, set this to heading three. And now let's customize this heading text. So I'm gonna click here on design, heading text. Make sure you select heading three. And we are going to add our heading font here to GFSD dots. And here it is, I'm gonna select it. Next, I'm gonna choose my color. So I'm gonna set this to black. Then I'm gonna add my size here. So my heading size is gonna be 5VW. So it's gonna be nice and big. And then we might as well add our sizes here for our other devices. So on the tablet, we're gonna set this to 9VW. And on the phone, we're gonna set this to 13VW. Next, we're gonna come over here to our padding. So let's click on spacing and we're just gonna add three VW here to the bottom and let's save. Next, we're gonna add a testimonial module to column one. So I'm gonna search for 
testimonial and select it. So let's start here with um, the author. So we're going to call the author Loyal Reader. So for the job title, we're going to set this to Content Marketing Officer. We're going to set the company. And then next, I'm just going to add my dummy text. And now let's add our image here. So I'm just, I think I must have some images here in my library. And yes, I do. So I'm going to go with um, this image right here. Click on upload an image. So this is going to work as our image here on the uh, testimonial. Now, as you can see here, we have a background color and this doesn't look great. So I'm going to come over here to background and I'm going to make this transparent. So the next step now is to customize our um, quote icon. So I just want to make sure here it's set to yes. Now let's go over to design quote icon and uh, our color here can go in as black. And for our background, I'm going to set this to white. And I know I recently used that. So I'm going to select that. Now let's set our icon font size. So I'm going to activate use custom quote size and set this to 2VW. So we might as well add the tablet. So on the tablet here, we're going to set this to 5VW. Now the reason why I'm just adding the other values for the other devices is because it's, uh, it just makes our design look great on all devices. So now you can see I've added on the phone, tablet and desktop. Now let's change our image settings. So over here on the image, we're going to go to image width and uh, we're going to set this to 110. And we need to do the same to the height because we need to maintain a perfect circle. And we're also going to go to our tablet and phone. And over here on the tablet, we're going to set this to 90. And that's going to be the same for the phone as well. And I'm going to come over here to my height and set this to 90 as well. So we just want to make sure we, we um, maintain a perfect circle on these devices. Now over here on the image border color, I'm going to set this to white. Right, so the next step now is to center my text. So I'm going to come over here to text and center everything. So while we're here, we might as well adjust our body text. So we're going to change this to Verdana. So I'm going to search for my font here and select it. And my color is going to be black. So I'm going to go to my recent used colors here and select black. Now let's set our colors, I mean our sizes. So I'm going to come over here and set my body text size to 0 0.7. So you can even go further here and set your author text. So here, let's change this to GFS D dot. And for our size, I'm going to set this to 1.2 VW. And we're also going to add a letter spacing of one pixel here. Now let's work on the position text. So I'm going to click here on this little brush tool and that's going to take us straight over here. And um, our font is going to be GFS D dot. And I'm also going to set my size to 0 0.9. And my color here is going to be black. So I'm going to choose my recent uh, selected colors here. And I'm also going to add a line height of 2 EM. Now let's do the same to company details here as well. So I'm going to choose my font and it's going to be GFS D dot. And uh, my size here is going to be 0 0.7. And my line height, just like what I did before, is going to be at 2 EM. Now let's uh, add some sizing to our module by coming over here. And uh, we're going to set our width to 60%. Currently it's um, set to auto. So 60% is what we need here. And for our module alignment, we're going to make sure that it's centered. Now let's head over to spacing and over here, we're going to set our spacing and uh, this is going to be our top padding, It'll be 1.5 VW. And then we are going to add a top border to our module. So I'm going to go ahead and select my border here. And my border width is going to be two pixels. And my color here is going to be this uh, black. So we are going to come back here and do some final touches. But in the meantime, let's go to column two. And in column two, what we need to do here is to add the comments module to column two. So I'm going to search for my comments and select it. Now let's head over here to our comments and the way it says show avatar, I'm going to say no and show reply button. I'm going to leave it at yes and show comment count. We're going to set this to no. Now let's head over to the design tab and go to the fields. So first of all, the fields background, I mean, fixed text fields text color is going to be this black focus is going to be black as well. And let's add our focus text color. We'll set this to this 
very light gray. And now let's add our font. And our font here is going to be GFS D dot. And the size is going to be 0 0.9 VW. So I'm just going to add it over here. Right, so the next stage is to work on our form title. So I'm just going to go all the way down here until I find the form title text. And here it is. Okay, so here we're going to set our font to GFSD dot, just like what we did before. And we're also going to set our color here to black. And um, the size is going to be 0 0.9 VW. So I'm just going to add it over here. Next, let's head over to the meta text. So I'm going to select it. And again, we're going to change our font here to GFSD dot. And uh, our size here this time is going to be 1.3 VW. And the color is going to be black. Now let's head over to the comments. So here on the comments text, we're going to change this to Verdana. And you know, we've used this before. And our size for our font here is going to be 0 0.7 VW. And our letter spacing is going to be 1. And our line height is going to be... 1.8 EM. So I'm just going to make sure I set this to 1.8. Now it's time to work on the button because as you can see here, it's pretty much the standard button. So let's go ahead and fix that by coming all the way here to button and activating use custom styles for button. So here we're going to set our text size. So I'm just going to go to it's 20 pixels here, the default and set this to 0.9. Our text color is going to be black. And then our letter spacing is going to be one. And the font is going to be GFS D dot. So let's find our area here. There we go. So now let's add our font type. So here you can see we can either have it this way or you can reverse it and make the bottom black with white text. So let me just show you quickly how you can do that. So over here, you can just switch things over and then set your text to white. So now you have a totally different button. And also what you can do here is if you are not a fan of the rounded corners, I can just, you can just remove them like that and that now fixes the rounded corners. Now let's head over to sizing because we need to adjust the width of this comment section. So I'm gonna set my width here to 90% and I'm gonna make sure my module alignment is set to centered. Now let's head over to spacing because over here we need to add a padding of 4VW to the top just to give this a bit of breathing space. And we're also going to add the same on the left and the right. In fact, let's bring this down to 3VW. All right, so what we're going to do next here is to just save this for now. And I'm just going to go back over here and uh, delete. I don't even know why I had all these uh, columns, to be honest. This is crazy. All right, so I'm just going to delete this because we only need three columns like that. And uh, let's save this now. So over here on the right, you can add whatever module that you want. So let me just show you what this design looks like on the final. So I'm just going to delete again this uh, module here on the top so that we only have one section. But if you don't want to add anything over here to the right, all you have to do is to go into your row settings and just get rid of it like that. And now pretty much all we have is uh, these two. But of course you want to uh, balance this. So let me just save this one more time. And then I'm just going to center this because this doesn't look right. So I'm just going to center it here. And then what I'm going to do is to change my column structure here. So I'm going to go back to these three little, in fact, to uh, this fourth uh, item. And this is where now you can change the structure of this. So you can see now this looks much, much better and things look way much better in terms of the layout. I'm going to save this. Now let's exit this and uh, take a look at this in our browser. So I'm going to um, close this since I've already saved it. So I'm going to click on save changes one more time. Now I'm going to go to my posts, click on all posts. So since this is our style, this can be applied to any post. So I'm just going to click here on view and I'm going to take a look at this in a new tab. And you can see now that this is our main comments. So when people come to our website and add their content here, this is what it pretty much looks like. So I think this is really cool. Go ahead, give it a try and uh, let's see how it looks. 
So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.